Alléluia. Alléluia. Amen. We thank the Lord for this moment that He has given to us to stand up as a church, to stand up as a body of Christ, to call upon the Lord, to call upon the strength of the Lord, to call upon the Spirit of God, to call upon Him at you. Take to rule. It is by the will of God that we have come together. It is by the will of God that we are standing together. It is by the will of God that we are pressing together. The word of the Lord that came unto us at the end of last year. December. Two things. The first is that there is now our Jehovah, the multiplier. So we can only and must only see the increase of God, the increase in the church, the increase in our lives the increase in our finances, the increase in every area because he has said that he will multiply every provision that he has provided. And because he's also causing us to be wealth manufacturer, the principalities, the activities, the rulers of darkness, Paul said there is an effective door that is before me. But there is also before that door an adversity, a stronghold. And as I look, I see that I must go through the door, break through the chains, break through the limitations, break through everything that is hindering the assignment of God. And because he has called each one of us to us, to agree to fulfill his will it is such in a time like this where we even need it to more to press on for this is by prayer and fasting for this is by prayer and fasting for it is by prayer and fasting for the promises that God has spoken for the words that God has spoken for the will of God to be manifested this is by pressing 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 until the oil that is the differential oil that the excellent oil that is the excellent oil comes out by pressing by pressing by pressing by pressing by pressing by pressing for it shall not delay yes it is the will of God that he has spoken before even the things were in motion. It was his will to make it, to create, to speak even before anything was made. It was his will to have the spirit over, over the creation before he was created. It was his will to have his own decision, his own assignment in, in, in himself he has taken counsel in himself to make it happen before it happened so as children of God as elect of God as chosen of the Messiah we must remember we are different 
we must remember we are called we must remember we are chosen we must remember we are appointed we must remember that we are different we must remember that we are called yes. we must remember yes. that we are chosen we must remember that we are appointed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And as appointed of the Messiah, we have the authority to decree yes. and it shall be established. Amen. Amen. As the appointed of the Messiah, we have the authority to decree, to speak a word, yes. and it shall be established. Amen. For it is the will of God that has made it to be so. I will press, I will press, I will press, I will press, I will press until the oil comes out. Yes, Lord. Every contrary altars, every altars of Ashtaroth, Every altar of Baal. Yes. Every altar of witches and wizards. We destroy, we destroy. Every altar that has risen within in my family line. Yes. Today. Yes. We break it we down to ashes. To eat. We break a, it down a, to a, ashes. A, 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 a. Today. Shall we break it, it down a, 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 a. to ashes. Yes. We erect against you we the thunder of God, Archies. the thunder of the Almighty, Archies. the thunder of your God. Archies. We break it down to Bring ashes. Down. We destroy it down to ashes. Today, the deliverance of God. Yes. The set free of God, yes. the liberation of God it for advancement, for advancement is coming to us, is coming to us. For this is the work of God, for this is the work of God, for this is the work of God. Yes, Lord. I stand the God as a mouthpiece authorized by you and I decree the wrong vestment, the breaking down of every altar that was not appointed by you, of every spell that was casted by the enemy. We break it down, we nullify it, we thunder it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, 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 now. Shundabo Bandeba Yes, my God, yes. I got the latter rain, I got the greater rain to fall now, to fall now upon my word. I got the latter rain, I got the greater rain to wet now, to fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Reba, Baba, Sota. Reba Yamandela Manamada Reba Baketanida Reba Sota Rabada Rekandorobadia Shantarabadibata Yes Oh Lord God Yes We have perceived enough of the cloud Now I got the rain I got the rain to break forth to break forth to break forth Yes Yes, yes, yes. Power. Power. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Shanda da de da. Reo soda ba da ba da. Shoka kanta raba sekita. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reba ba ba de ba de ba de ya. Oh Lord God. Let it be. Now I call it to be Shanta raba sukata. So ba 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 ta. I call it to be. 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 Shanta da 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 ya da. Raman shade ba da. Reka manolo ma. Shanta raba da ba da. I break off the mental of shame. I break off the chains of for uh, restriction. Hey, 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 I break it off. Yes. Every wall yes. that has been put before us, yes. every wall yes. that has been placed before us, yes, I destroy it. We, we destroy, destroy it. it. By fire. In the name of Jesus. By fire. We destroy it. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go. Candelebere sabadibada. Cambraunduru. Holy Ghost. Candeleyada bada bada bada. Your power is here. Oh God. Your spirit. Oh God. Is here. Oh God. And mighty things. Holy Father. Yes. Let that disease. Ah. Let it be now. Yes. Shondoro bada bada. Leketa raba. Sheda reba bade bakata. My God. Shandiya. Reba rebe be yara bada. Yes yes yes. Reba sokoda. Yes. Shondoro roba le la bale la bada. Yes yes. Oro bade la bada. Yes. Reba de la bade ya raba ya bada. Roba roba robo. Yes. Hey God. Yes yes yes. This is your moment. This is your time. This is the plan that you have spoken of. This is the season you have spoken of. This is the hour you have spoken of. We call it now. We seize it now. We call it now. Rain fall. Rain water. Rain fall. Rain water. Rain fall. Rain water. Yes. Yes. Candelere yara balera, Roma molo, likere sotora, lebo soda baza. For we have believed the report of the Lord. We have believed the word of God. Now, 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 we pull it. We pull it. Now, shotoroka. Yes, everyone. Begin to laugh. Begin to laugh. The Lord said, Begin to laugh. Shanda. I hear God say, Shanda. 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 Oh, the enemy is in derision. The enemy is in confusion. The enemy is in confusion. The enemy is scattered. The enemy is scattered. Oh, ba! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Begin to laugh. But she take it here. But we see this. Yes. We see it. We see it. Shandere ha ha. Re ha da ha. Yes. Oh ha ha. Re be de be de be da ya. Re soto ba da ba di. Thank you ha. Oh father. Ha 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 ha. Oh Lord Jesus, He kete kanto robo, He kela ne sota, eh yes oh. Begin to run, begin to run. Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, begin to run. Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, begin to run. Eh Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, God Jesus, hey, hey, I am on the 
acceleration path. We are in the acceleration path. You cause us to be on the fast lane. You cause us to be on the fast lane. Oh my God. Oh my God. You cause us to be on the fast lane. Hey. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father of life. Lord, I thank you. Father of light. Yes. I thank you. Yes. You have made it again. Yes. Robo so bada 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 bada. Shut it, 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 ha ha ha. My Lord. Shut it, 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 it. My piano rosso gatita. Alleluia, 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 Given me, has given, given me the favor, the favor to prosper. To prosper. <laughs> Say, God, God has given me, has given me favor, favor to prosper. To prosper. Say, my father, my father has appointed to me, has appointed to me favor, favor to prosper. To prosper. Your word says, Lord, that you have appointed the people unto Solomon. That here by here, all the earth were coming, bringing gift unto Solomon, causing him to prosper over and over and over for the building of your kingdom. For the establishment of your kingdom and that favor has been translated into our lives today i call that favor to catapult each one of us in the name of jesus christ Balelando unda na manila kadiya nida, ma pere sororandele hindu nida hindu nida. There was a time when, as you were praying upon the word of God, you were praying concerning the promise of God, you were praying concerning the decree of God. But you were only seeing a small cloud. A small cloud like at the end. You have pressed in. You have pressed in. You have pressed in. Oh Jesus. But the word of God says, because of the mental that I have a place upon thee. Thou shalt step into territories, and my favor that I have spoken upon thee from the time before I cause it to unlock and to release the east wind to blow on your life and to cause you to rise and to cause you to prosper and to cause you to advance for I delight in thee say the Lord ba 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 reos tiba shondoro wo sigidi yande de de hindana ba Lord Jesus Your word is true. Your word is true. Today, you are certifying 
your favor. You are confirming your favor to prosper. We thank you that you released the latter rain. We thank you that you released the latter rain. Father, oh my Father, I bless you that you do so now. Ooh. Moro sana badi badi yadida, kambade sana dia. Everybody, Maturu ya de de ya dada, kere ya andro sabada de, bade ya sere de 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 basuda. soul shall not be afraid to prosper. My soul shall not be afraid to prosper. Masuri Babatira Bless your name, Lord Jesus. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. Bless your name, Lord God. Matereanda <laughs> He can tell us so na manera ni. The word of God says in the book of the first King, chapter ten. First King, chapter ten. Verse 1, and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels, that had that best spices and with very much gold and precious stones and when she was come to Solomon she commended with him of all that was in her heart and Solomon told her all her questions there were not anything hid from the king which he hold her, which he told her not. 
And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and the apparel and his cup bearers and his ascents by which he went up unto the house of the Lord there was no more spirit in her and she said to the king it was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom albeit I believe not the words until I came and mine eyes had seen it and behold the alpha was not told me thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard happy are thy men happy are this thy servants which stand continually before thee and thou hear thy wisdom blessed be the Lord thy God which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel because the Lord loved Israel forever therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice Hallelujah. Help me, help me with the screen, please. Put for me on the screen, please. Because the word of God is favor to prosper. Hallelujah. Favor to prosper. You can directly go to the screen, to the Bible screen. Hallelujah. Say, I have favor. 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 I have to prosper. To prosper. Amen. Let me explain. The word of God is true. He is releasing it into the essence of prayer. When the prayer of the saints goes up. The word of God and the will of God comes down to wet the saints, to cause them to blossom. Said the reign of God. The reign of God. The reign of God. The reign of God has fallen upon my land. Has fallen upon my. I am blossoming. 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 God himself orchestrated the day today to release upon his people because we are different we are called we are chosen and we are appointed the queen of Sheba she says she heard the wisdom of Solomon. But we know that God was the one who gave him that wisdom. But because the wisdom was so impregnant, he said, impregné, embedded, thank you. He was so embedded in him, he looked like wisdom. And when she heard it, she did not come to listen his wisdom with empty hands. Hallelujah. She said she did not believe, but there was favor upon Solomon that caused her to come with things even though she did not believe. 
Hallelujah. It was not after she came that she believed that she went back, she got the offering and she came back. No. She was coming with offering in unbelief. Because of the favor that was upon Solomon that caused the earth to bring and to add where there was no room. He has more than more than more than more than more. And yet, the favor of God upon him caused even the unbeliever to bring the offering. Are you following? Say, God, you are causing the unbeliever to bless me. When the favor of God is upon you to prosper, the unbeliever is blessing you. And suddenly she realized that he was truly an appointed by God. He said, let your deed be seen of men so they may glorify your father in heaven. Solomon was appointed because he was different. Hallelujah. He was not appointed because he was holy. Hallelujah. Because he was different. The Bible said that Daniel has a different spirit. Those who are in the the end of the earth who is hearing what God is doing in your life and they do not believe that we still come to bless you. Are you following? Let give me the word, please, on the screen. First King, chapter ten. We're gonna start with verse one. In verse one, it says, "Go ahead, please." And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, and when the queen of Sheba heard, when the queen of Sheba heard what? Of the fame uh -huh. of Solomon concerning uh -huh. the name of the Lord. Yes. She came to prove him with hard. She came questions. to prove him with, with hard questions. Mm -hmm. And she came to Jerusalem. Yes. With a. Continue. Uh, hold on a second. Hallelujah. Amen. Which verse are we? Verse two. Continue. Go ahead. And she came to Je to Jerusalem with a very great train with camels that bear spices. Hallelujah. Amen. She came in Jerusalem with what? With a, a very great train. A very great train. With camels. With camels. That bear spices. That bear spices. And very much gold. And very much gold. And precious stone. And precious stone. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. Jesus. And Solomon told her all, told her all of her questions. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their and their apparel and his cupbearers and his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. Amen. 
Alleluia. Amen. First principle for favor to prosper is you need to be organized. Hallelujah. You need to be organized. When she arrived, she saw how it was organized, how it was operating. She saw how he was doing things. She saw the excellency of his operations. And the Bible says, as I am saying what I see. As she was saying what she saw. There was no more spirit left in her. She was struck by how. God is speaking your fame in the hearing of people. But when they come, they need to see because they are not spiritual, they are carnal. And as they come, they, they walk by sight, they don't walk by faith. Hallelujah. So you need not to operate only in faith. You need to present the sight. Are you following what I'm saying? Because the Bible said that we see your deed. It's not that we believe your deed. Are you, are you following? They are not operating by faith. And as they see, first principle of favor, organized or organized see the kingdom of God when he sent the children of Israel out of Egypt he organized them hallelujah and when he organized them he assigned them a tax and they were fulfilling it and they were growing The queen, however, did not come empty hand. Why? Because of the favor to prosper that was upon the life of Solomon. Before you go to speak to anyone, as you pray, you pray not because you just want to pray. You pray because you know that the word of God has spoken and guided you and directed you. Thou shalt become this. Thou shalt do this. Thou shalt accomplish this. So when you go, it has already spoken in the spirit. They don't even know what they, they don't know. But as you come, as they see the work of God in your life, the word of God in your hands that we only say indeed your God has established you first principle to for favor to prosper you are organized that's what the Lord says if the little things I have given you you do it well I will give you the bigger one hallelujah because you have demonstrated in the little one that you had organization and he is come and he gives you the bigger one turn down a little bit for me please Abby. and the Lord God came he calls Solomon. But who is Solomon? Who is Solomon? A son of no. A son of an outcast. Say God loves me more than I love myself because of his love he favored me listen carefully if you do not understand how different you are 
the enemy will lie to you. Joseph, the Bible said that his father gave him a coat of many colors. His father loved also his brothers. Are you what I'm saying? Bible's different. Why did he receive the coat of many colors? Because God has favored him to prosper. Uh, hallelujah. So, first principle is or let's go to the second principle. Hallelujah. Give me now in verse 10. Mm -hmm. First King chapter 10 verse 10. And she gave the king mm -hmm. an hundred and twenty talents of gold and of spices very great store and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as this which the king, the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me explain this second one. Spices in those days were utilized for many different things. Among, of, among them, it was incense or perfume. Hallelujah. And she, she came, she brought gold. She brought other things. But the Bible talks about something specific. Not the gold. Not the camels. But the Bible makes a point on the line, the spices. And she says, and the Bible says, give me that again. Verse 10. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold mm -hmm. and of spices, very great store, mm -hmm. and precious stones. So he had received gold. He had received precious stones. Hallelujah. And precious stone can be what? Emeralds, uh, diamonds, di jasper, all kind of precious stone. Hallelujah. Amen. But, continue. There came no more such abundance of spices. Hallelujah. Amen. So, even though he received the gold and the precious stones, normally I would say that the stone, precious stones, and gold, quote unquote, are more valuable than the spices. But in this case here, the Bible says that what was really captivating was the spices. Second principle, spices is prayer. Because remember, the Bible says in the book of Revelation that the prayer of the saints was like what? Incense, incense sweet incense going in the nostril of God. Sweet smelling aroma. Because remember, when Solomon started, he did something particular. He prayed. And in his prayer, he prophesied by saying, when thou will come from far. Hallelujah. He did not see them coming, but he spoke it. And before they came, he started organizing. And when they came, they saw. They said, ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So first principle is organization. Be organized. Second principle is what? Spice up your prayer. Say, Lord. Lord. Spice up spice. my prayer life. My prayer life. Spice, up spice up my prayer life. It is sweet incense. You smell good. You see the Muslim. Most of the Muslim that I know, they have a type of uh, incense that they utilize yes, yes. that is common to all of them. Yes. When they are around, you know, the, there is a Muslim who will pass through. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That incense is part of the worship. The Catholics, they do the same thing. When they go to the mass, they burn incense, and then the master child, how we call it? 
My servant, take the incense and come around the... No, no, no. The altar and put the incense like that. Witches and wizards, they also utilize incense. But the difference is that the word of God tells that your prayer are like a sweet incense, a sweet aroma that enters. So you need to spice up your prayer. There is one thing to prosper, but it is another thing to have favor to prosper. Let's continue. Where we at? Verse 11. And the navy also of Hiram that brought gold from Ophi brought in from Ophi great plenty of almog, almog trees and precious stones. And the king made of the almog trees pillars for the house of the Lord and for the king's house harps also and psalteries for singers. Hallelujah. Amen. And there came no such Almark trees, no, nor were seen unto this day. Another one, third element. When that element came, the Almark tree, it was utilized for the house of the king, for the house of the Lord, and for the altar. What does it mean? Worship. Hallelujah. Your worship unto God caused the angel to assist you. Are you following? I'm not talking about prosper. I'm talking about favor to prosper. The Amar tree was the, uh, the second element that the Bible identified that it was not such as like this. Because the gold he already had. Amen. His father actually went around and then fought everywhere around and then you know gathered the spoil and gave him all the different tools and material to build the temple and yet God had it on it had it on it to the point that I'm certain there was no more room to put on but you see he did not let it go he was only coming he was only coming and the Bible said God caused the whole earth to bring unto Solomon the prosperity, the blessings. Worship. The fourth element of favor to prosper is that you see evidences of it. Hallelujah. First element, you're organized. Second element, you spice up. I do not say you pray. I say you spice up. So if you are praying twice a day, then you spice up. Hallelujah. The Muslim, many of them, they do the Allah Akbar. Right? And they do it five times a day. And there is a lady that I know, I have helped for a long time. That lady, she always tells me that I know when I pray, God makes it. She's a Muslim. And I always point her to Christ. But there is one thing that she has realized. That when she put an effort in praying her God, she sees something coming. Why? Because even the demons can manifest things. Because some people can believe the demons and then the demons will give them some. Are you know what I'm saying? How much more you, the child of God, you are called to believe more than that. So you see the manifestation of it beyond measure, without sorrow. Somebody said something last time. I believe yesterday. He said, from the three Judeo-Christian faith, which is the Judaism, the Christianism, 
and the Islam, the Jews are called a nation. The Islam are called a nation, the nation of Islam. It's only Christian who are called religion. But there is a problem. Is that the nation needs funds and money in order to function. Are you know what I'm saying? So the Jew, because they are a nation, they understand their work, they bring it in, in order to keep the nation going. That's why the Jew gives so much. The Muslims, same principle. They are a nation. So they work. And Muslim, when they work, some of them, they only, like in their mind, they say, whatever I do, how I can make sure to participate to keep my nation going. But you say, by the, by the Christians, are the only one who function in religion. <laughs> and it is that mindset that is making the problem. Because the Lord said, Oku, Pai, Tilai, come. You occupy by positioning yourself as a nation. By speaking to kings. By being rulers. By shifting the atmosphere with law. By changing the course of event by investing. So a nation, when Christ comes, he is called the king of, hallelujah. And he has made a king dumb. Hallelujah. In his kingdom, there is the church. <laughs> Amen. So, as children of God, the favor to prosper causes us to be organized. Second, causes us to spice up our prayer. Third, causes us to also worship and create atmosphere of worship wherever we are standing. That to somebody, it is favor to prosper that you see on me. Hallelujah. Let's continue verse 13. Verse 13. And King Solomon gave unto the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked, beside that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, he's, he, he was giving something. Whether he give wisdom, whether he give understanding, but he has a hand to give, the understanding to give. I'm not talking about prosperity. I'm talking about favor to prosper. Favor to prosper makes people who don't believe in you to bring you the gift. Are you following? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, when you develop, when you organized, when they come, they see. And they, in, in fact, in the world of business, for instance, an investor don't invest if you have nothing to show him. You feel what I'm saying? But how you will get the first thing to show him is struggle. Because you need the money to manufacture what you have in order to show. But who can I give you the money? You feel what I'm saying? But the investor only arrives when you have. So they are what they call angels investor and venture investor. They are not the same. Angels and investor, they are little, little investor. <laughs> Capital venture investor, they are big one. Some of them, the, the mindset is to come and then to buy out your company. So organized, you cause the favor to prosper. 
And the second is what? Spash up your prayer. Because when they come, there are things they need to hear that we unlock the spirit to give. Are you following? They already came with the gift is in their pocket. They had a check inside and they're listening. And they say, you have not convinced me. <laughs> Are you following? But when you spice up your prayer, God shall now giving you words at the time, at the hour, and you start speaking and suddenly they say, please check. <laughs> Hallelujah. And third, worship, develop a life, a atmosphere, build altar of worship. And fourth, give. To increase, you give. That's different. But in favor to prosper, when you arrive at that position, let me explain a little bit, you will understand. Many companies who are not Christian at all, they have nothing to do with Christianity. They have what they call give back to the community. So they dedicate some funds that they reinvest in the community. And all that type of investors sees what they do and they give them more money. You know what I'm saying? If you have a company and your company does not give no nothing to nobody, <laughs> I can tell you, they will not come in and invest. Why? Because they are looking. In turn for them, it is a pathway to also break down on the taxes. So they use that strategy. Are you what I'm saying? In spiritual strategy, you also do have spiritual strategies. Favor to prosper. One, be organized. Two, spice up your prayer life. Three, pure act of worship. Amen. Have a lifestyle of worship. Bible says you got to sing worship him like you, 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 you have to, you have to let it flow. What I notice through the Bible is that when people worship, angel comes. I even I'm saying. I notice very often time. That when they were worshiping or people were worshiping, the angel will come and sing with them. Paul and Silas. Ah, what was the song? Give me the song. They prayed the sun and the Holy Ghost came down. They prayed the sun. And the Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they prayed. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is an activity of the angels in the beauty of worship. But you see, let me explain to you the difference between an angel and you being a child of God and also caused by the favor to prosper. Is that as a child of God, it's only for you that Christ died on the, on the cross. Amen? The angel, he didn't. So they need a lead worshiper so they can open their mouth. Because in heaven, the angel do not say, Oh, holy, the one who saved us. Uh -uh. They only say, holy, holy, holy. Are you, O oh Lord God Almighty? Read the book of Revelation and pay attention. 
The Bible said those who were redeemed by the blood are the one who says, you are, be you are beautiful. You are the lamb. Amen. But the angels, all they were saying, it was holy, holy, holy. So you as a child of God, when you start worshiping your savior, your king, the angels are attracted by it. But here's the thing. When they are attracted by it, they are also sent into assignment. Here's the thing. Until today, the angels have not been stopped from being assigned to cases. Are you following what I'm saying? The day the Lord Jesus resurrected, angel was there. Amen? After he resurrected, angel was there. Amen? After he went up, angel C was there. Amen? The Bible says, Philip, Amen? To go preach to the, 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 uh, come on, sir. the Ethiopian. Amen? Who spoke to him? He was a, the angel. Is after he went there that the spirit took him out. The Paul and Silas, what happened? Peter, what happened? Angels. God did not assign them to be worship. That's true. But God assigned them to function as they were to serve the purpose of God in the life of the people. Favor to prosper. Let's continue. So we have the four elements, which is, be organized, to sing in, spice up. Spice up. Make it be a sweet incense. Amen. And third is worship. Build a nut of worship. And fourth is give. Let's get to the, 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 the next one. So read for me here. Verse 14. Verse 14, now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 600 three score and six talents of gold. You know what it means? It's 666. 666 talent of gold. What do we know about the 666? We know that it's being also the mast, did I say the mast? The mark of the beast or the number of his name. Hallelujah. But you see, what it means, 666 is also included and embedded in men. You feel what I'm saying? Because the mark of the beast, it will not be an angel that will come to do the mark of the beast. It will be a man. When we say the Antichrist is not an a, 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 a angel, or a, I mean a falling angel, amen. The Antichrist is what? A human being that will receive in him the activity of Satan. Hallelujah. Now, let me go back. In the case here, there is something that the Bible talks, but you have to pay attention to that. Is that now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 603 score and six talents. So 666 talents of gold. What does it mean? It means favor to prosper. We obligate the world. The world. I'm not talking about the children of God. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about the church. I'm not talking that you'll be blessed by a, a man of God. No, 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 no. The favor to prosper, we obligate the world to participate into your building. I say the word obligate. Oblige. Okay. Are you what I'm saying? Let me explain how you will understand that. Do you give your tax to the government? No, you don't. You remit, remember. Because it's an obligation, it's not a will. You feel what I'm saying? If it was only for you, you would keep your money. Am I right? right. Amen. <laughs> they take it from you. So that's why the Lord Jesus says, I do not have to pay taxes, but 
because we are in the realm of the men, let's just do so we don't offend them. Amen. By the way, he gives them the taxes, he takes it from the fish, the fish. Listen very carefully. He does not tell you to pay taxes. He manufactures to pay taxes. So the fifth is that God calls you to be a wealth. <laughs> now you understand. He causes you to become a wealth manufacturer. Favor to prosper. Forever to prosper. You don't buy the product. You manufacture the product. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. 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 You see, in French, there is a word that people use when they don't want to listen to something or when they don't care about something. They say, je m'en fous. Amen. Je m'en fous. Have you, uh, uh, have you eaten this one? You should not have eaten this one. This one we call it diarrhea. Oh, je m'en fous. <laughs> Meaning, even if he has to go to me diarrhea, it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat it. Let me explain what it means now. When God calls you the favor to prosper, it does not matter the state of the state. Are you following? The state of the state. What does it mean? It means the stature or the condition of the state you are in. Okay. Hallelujah. It does not matter. You will create and manufacture wealth. Favor to Prosper. King Solomon, his manufacturing or his factory was a factory of wisdom. And that factory of wisdom caused the wealth of the world to come to him. Because people wanted to hear what he has to say. So God will oblige the world to bring onto your table. You will say, I mean, I don't compromise. I'm a child of God. I believe on, only in God. They have refused everybody else. But they say, ah, we have to work with you. <laughs> because normally, they will say, no, because you, your thing of Christianity, please, please, please take it away. No, no, no. They are obliged to work with you. And you yourself, you, you, you don't understand. You say, but in this world where they're crazy, you think that if you say you are Christian or you are believing in God or you stay with the Lord, but what you don't know is that some of the demonic possessed people, they, 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 are, they marvel when they see a child of God standing. There's like, ah, is that possible that he's not afraid? Ah, is that possible that he still confessed the name of the Lord Jesus? They marvel. And some of them, just because they marvel, they appreciate your tenacity. There is a, a, a atheist who commented on a guy who is a, a man of God on his uh, page. And he said, honestly, I don't believe in God. But the way you stand on your faith, the way you stand firm on your faith, I marvel. I am flabbergasted. I am in awe. I recognize that you have something that is different than everyone that I saw. And yet he doesn't believe in God. <laughs> but he has to confess 
that what he's seeing is beyond his understanding. So let's recap. One is what? Be organized. Because when they arrive and they see fuja fuja buja buja pachu pachu fatu fatu everywhere, amen. It won't work. It won't work. Hallelujah. So be organized. When she arrived, the queen of Sheba, she was the first to arrive to do something. And she looked. And she's like, even the servants, even the servants, the way they are doing the service, the cup bearers, she looked through. She said, even the way you go up to the house of the Lord. <laughs> Are you what I'm saying? You know, yeah, let me tell you. When you are favored to prosper, you don't work like this. No, you don't work like that. When you are favored to prosper. <laughs> you are classy. Are you what I'm saying? You are not fuya fuya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Imagine. You go into a meeting with the investors. You arrive. <laughs> you agree with me that, that, that we said there is a problem over here. <laughs> you agree with me? Because remember, they don't want to buy, but they want to buy. You got to remember that. <laughs> Hallelujah. So before they give, that we have to see. What would they see? Amen. That's a mistake of the Christian or the child of God. You have prayed and God has given you, but you are not organized. And you wonder, but I don't understand. No, you didn't put it together. You see the Lord Jesus. To multiply, he had to do something. He has to put together the little that the people brought to him. Hallelujah. Even if it is a raw material, you have to put it together. You see, you can start a business with nothing. How? Somebody say, I want to do a um, business of her. I don't know. Cleaning. And the person thinking, I don't have the money to buy the cleaning materials. But in the kitchen, the person has what? Baking soda and vinegar. Now, this is for food. It's not for cleaning. But you see, when you let God utilizing you, you start having idea outside of the box. So then the persons are putting together the vinegar and the baking soda and put on the thing and start cleaning now. And it cleans even better than the cleaning solutions. You understand? And from there, the person gets the first job. And the first job, the first contract, gets the person 1000 or 500 The person uses that money, goes and buy more cleaning product. You see what I'm saying? By then, the person has already manufactured an own way of making a product for cleaning. And now the people now who are around, they are wondering, what type of product do you buy? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And now she becomes manufacturer of that product that she gives to people. You see? Now she start now, suddenly she... Learn to put together what God is giving unto you. Organized. Spice up the prayer life. Because you see, it is actually in prayer that you hear direction. Let me explain that again. The difference between spicing up the prayer and having just a life of prayer. When you spice up your prayer, what you do is that for, for, specific, for specific things, you know that you have to go to your king in order to give you direction to what to do. You feel what I'm saying? So when you go to your king, you have a clear idea that this one, I will hear from him. So as you start spicing at that life of prayer, you will hear correctly the direction. And suddenly your mind starts shifting and you start doing things that are unusual. Because your king is now telling you, how, oh, how, oh, how oh, to operate. The Lord does not want you to occupy without giving you the occupation. And the bills, I mean the bills, the skills for that occupation. 
He wants you to occupy, but he will give you also the skills so you occupy. And third, develop an art, a life of worship. That's why you cause a divine angelic help to step up and step up into your behalf on your behalf. Now, listen carefully. The Lord Jesus did not need the angel in order to speak for him. Okay? He didn't. But listen carefully what you will say to Pilate. He said, I got angels. But he does not need the angels. He can just speak. Disappear. <laughs> you get you know what I'm saying? He can just say, he, he doesn't even have to speak. He has to think about it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He look at him and gone. But he will still operate with these angels. The angels are not there just to worship God. They are there also to honor God. How? By serving him. How? By fulfilling the assignment that he gave them on human being. In the time of uh, Joshua, the Bible said the angel of the Lord came and he stood and he drew his sword. And Joshua was in a time of battle between him and the enemy. Even Joshua was confused. He said, are you for, for me or for, 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 for them? <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't for nobody. I'm for the Lord. But what does it mean? If Joshua is on the side of the Lord, that the angel is of the Lord, then the angel is for him. Does it, does it make sense? Even though he did not tell him directly, I am for you, but he said, I am on the side of the Lord. But who also was on the side of the Lord? Joshua. Hello, oh, Jesus. So where we at? Being an altar of worship after give, and then do you become a wealth manufacturer, which is the sixth one. The, the, the fifth, the fifth, sorry, the fifth. The fifth one, you, you are a wealth manufacturer. God now is giving you ideas. Let me explain to you something that I have learned recently. Oh, should I say I was reminded of recently because I knew it before, but they reminded me. And he can, kind of like... <laughs> you see, when you go on internet, you have email, right? Or on your phone, you have email, right? Those emails that you send and it looks like it is nothing, that email thing is patented by somebody. Somebody actually created email. Is a, a girl coming from India. He created email and he patented it. So every time you send email, he has some money that goes to him. He patented. But today it looks like a, something that is a, like just obvious. And yet it is an idea of somebody. Many things you see around you are patented. Now, you're thinking, let me explain why you need to be a wealth manufacturer. You're thinking, oh, that's just an idea. No, it's not just an idea. It's your check for prosperity. You see what I'm saying? Because remember, they patented their stuff. And they get prosper. But they receive that idea from the kingdom. Because you see, when somebody dream, it's God who gives him that dream to have an idea to prosper. Why? Because he's utilizing it to advance the kingdom. Even if it comes from the hand of the enemy. Let me give you an example. The TV. 
or internet. Hallelujah. The internet came from a Jewish guy. Hallelujah. We do know today that internet is utilized for all kind of stuff. But it is because of internet that also the world is also receiving the word of God. Because of airplane, you are getting faster in the place in order to preach the word of God. Now, I do not need to stand on the mountain to hear my voice with the whole people. I just use a microphone and poof. But this is also helped with the work, work of God. So it's not because God, okay, did not necessarily give that idea to the apostle or to the pastor. Then, then the, the four is, no, no. The word of God said the earth and everything belongs to God. Even the devil belongs to, because who made the devil? He did not make himself, did he? Hallelujah. For proof, the Bible says, before he does something, he goes to say, can, can, I, can, I, can I slap this one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even the devil in his madness, he knows, <laughs> hallelujah, that there are limits he cannot go. Anyway, let's go back and let's finish. Hmm. So let's repeat again. So the first one is be organized. Second is spice up your prayer life. Third, build an altar worship. Four, give. Amen. Give. Fifth, be a wealth manufacturer. It means don't take the idea God gives you just like a for granted. Don't take it for granted. And one of the things actually I learned from somebody that I share with you quickly is that when you have an idea and you may not have the funds to go patent it, but when you have an idea, write it, put it down. Do the, the if you want to throw, you throw it and then you mail it to yourself. It is called the first to invent. Because there is first to invent and first to register. Hallelujah. So if you mail it to yourself that you did not have money, and the day you want now to register or to patent that idea, somebody say, ah, I came with that, you can demonstrate that you were the first to invent. And now it will go to you. Are you know what I'm saying? Because you may have something in your mind, and then you said it. Your phone will capture it sent to Google. <laughs> because I can tell you uh, the phone that you have uh, there is a microphone which is always active that's why when somebody calls you you can talk it's always active always active for proof we can you can talk about something and as you're talking about something you go to your phone you go on Facebook and that thing you were talking about becomes a ad before you and you're like I just talked about the Chinese uh, soup and I see Restaurant for Chinese soup. How, how did that happen? <laughs> and, and, and you're thinking that Facebook is prophetic. They're not prophetic. <laughs> Hallelujah. Up the time, you will realize that. Continue. Let's go to the word. Eventually, when you mail to yourself, you don't open it. It has to remain in the envelope. With a date on it. Because once you open it, they will say, how ah, come you may not have put another date inside the envelope? Is what I'm saying. So you seal it, you make it, and then you send it to yourself. And there is the only proof is that it will be the stamp and the date that is coming from the postal office. So when you arrive, you put it aside. You never open. The day you open is when you went through the processing of patenting, and then you now utilize if there is a case where somebody may have already had the idea, and you will come to know I was the first to invent. This is my evidence. Hallelujah. Don't take that what God gives unto you for granted. Don't. Some people, they actually, uh, uh, somebody told me yesterday, he said they actually invent something, they patent it, and they don't do anything with that. And later on, somebody comes on and then they now develop the thing and become billionaire, and now they sue them. <laughs> Just to get the money. 
You see what I'm saying? IBM, IBM, IBM did that. IBM had an idea that they brought out. Uh, Google later on utilized that idea to do something, but they did not say anything. So from the 90s until 2017 or whatever, something in the 2000s, they finally sued Google for the idea for the long time because now Google has become billionaire. You see what I'm saying? So you as a child of God, protect the investment that God gives unto you by ideas. Don't take it for granted. So you have to understand how the world operates so that you utilize the tools of the world in order to build the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. They are the ones trying to make you not, no, 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 you know. No. I, mm -mm. When the Lord Jesus came, he ate food, remember? And he walked among men. And he utilized men in order to do what he has to do. When he needed to do multiplication, the fish that they have brought, he utilized it. Hallelujah. It was not holy fish. Amen. <laughs> it was fish that he has consecrated. Why? Because the earth and everything therefore belongs to him. Imagine, you're going the road, and you see somebody who just come to you. You say, I don't know why, but the Lord told me to bless you. And take 10,000, put in your hand, cash. And you're like, oh. And then after you go, you have a use of 10,000, you have started a business, and a year after, you see on the TV, ah, he was a thief. I say he was a thief. He was a he was a thief. What do you do? Hello, police. He gave me ten thousand a year ago. So please come take it back. You can do that. But I will tell you that since you did not know he was a thief, Hallelujah. The day he gave you, this did not prevent you to prosper out of it. That, does it make sense? God will not encourage you to agree or to utilize impurity, but God is not limited by who gives to you. If somebody comes to buy in your company and the person is a thief and you don't know he's a thief, is that, is, is that because he's a thief that uh, you will not buy? Uh, are you, you, are you what I'm saying? So, when God has to bless you, like Solomon, he brought the 666, which means he brought things that were in the hands of men. That he brought to Solomon. You will notice that Solomon did not, he himself, go to seek the gold. It was Himram, with the navy, who went with the and these people that brought the go for from off here. And what did they do? They did and they do the work and all those things, and then they brought it to Solomon. Some of the things that Solomon had to do, he did not even have people to do that because some of them had to cut down the cedar tree. They did not know how to do that. Hallelujah. But the king Imram has brought his people to help Solomon to do those things. So God will not necessarily. Let me explain again so you understand it correctly. When it comes to decision-making process for the life of what God has placed in your hands, you might be aligned with the same mind, with the same spirit, the same equal yoke. You feel what I'm saying? When it comes to, let's say you are a business and then you have to put among you a decision-maker for the life and the turn of the company. You need to have at least... You need to have a decision-making team that is in the same vision, which is a very important. Even among the, 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 the thief, they have vision together. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you need to have a same vision with the team that you have uh, as in the decision-making um, decision um, board. But then, any other people, they need to bring something into the life of what God has blessed, put in your hand does not need to be a Christian. 
are, are you what I'm saying? They do not need to be a Christian. You can build a only, only Christian company. That's possible. But when you look at Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, they are Christian, right? But is, is he only Christian who work over there? No. No. But they do not allow the mindset of the unbeliever to run the company. Why? Because in the board of directors, they have people who believe in one goal. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's continue. Say, favor to prosper. He's on my life. He's on my life. He's on my life. By the way, if you don't know, I want to share with you this uh, thing. Uh, this, the the Hegestown Community College, they, they have offices that they rent 200 per month. And all, the only thing that you pay is $200. And uh, you say, oh, only $200, and they give you an office. And I say only 200 You don't pay taxes. You don't pay uh, internet. You don't pay water. You don't pay nothing. Just $200. So the Hagerstone, they have something that they call incubator. So you go there, and then you tell about what your idea, what you have, whatever, and they take you, they help you, they build you. They have also something in Maryland that they call the SB something, that small business something, SC, that just helps you to train you to just get where you have to go. You see what I'm saying? While you are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy, you can strategically position yourself and do what the Lord Jesus said that, you know, one time hit me. He says, make yourself friends of, what did he say? Make yourself friends of my mom. Did that, that day, when, 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 I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like this is a translation issue. <laughs> but get, get, get that for me on the screen. <laughs> I said, this might be a translation issue, but by his grace, he's explained to me what was that. So, do you have it? Hallelujah. Can we have a, can somebody help her? Hallelujah. So, I'm going to rephrase again. The one is to be organized. The two is to spice up your prayer life because you are a child of God and an appointed of God. The third is to build an altar of prayer, develop a life of prayer, of, sorry, of worship. Um, and then the fourth is to give, to have a hands that stretch out. You have to develop this one. And then the fifth, it is to what? To be a wealth manufacturer. Hallelujah. So have your ideas be brought down. Don't just uh, think that it is just a random idea. Specifically when God, God shows those things unto you on the, uh, in a time of prayer or shows those things unto you in dreams, don't, don't just leave them go like this. Hallelujah. Don't spoil them. Don't waste them. Do not write them down. That's why it says, write down the vision. Amen. Put it in plain tablet. So your duty is to write it down, mail it to yourself as an invention. And then when the time arrives where you have the resources to patent it, you go, you patent it. Hallelujah. And then sometimes people can just utilize your patented product or idea to develop the product and they pay you a license for it. And then all you do, you sit down and then you eat. <laughs> hallelujah so don't let what god has given unto you fall on the ground so luke chapter what 16 verse can we have it on the screen please luke luke 16 9 and i say unto you make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness that that when he failed they may receive you into everlasting habitation. So I say unto you, make to yourself friends of the mammon. He does not tell you, be friend of mammon. And what he's clearly saying over here is, you need to advance, you need to continue, you need to build something that God has put in your hands. Do not only look for Christian to help you. Worldly resources. You see what I'm saying? Because when we say worldly resources, all it means is that you will not find it uh, 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 in the Bible. You will find it somewhere down there in the world. 
So those were the resources that the Lord has allowed them to have are not something that you have to necessarily be away from. He says that you can utilize them to continue the kingdom. I will take an example, which is simple. Light. Gas. Amen? Car. I know some people that don't want to drive in car because they say this year has been made by the devil. But you see, the reality is that Jesus Christ had also to ride from one place to another. The disciples, when they were going from place to places, they were taking boat. Hallelujah. They were taking boat. And for a fact, when they were taking those boats, they were arriving where they had to arrive, and they were preaching the gospel. So the Lord has allowed somebody to come with an idea with a, a car. But when you use a car for the kingdom of God, God cannot point unto you for unrighteousness. That's not possible. Because it is clear that you are not utilizing it for your own glory. You feel what I'm saying? So make for your friends... By utilizing the means of the resources that the world has. Let's say somebody comes and he says, okay, I am an unbeliever, but I know how to develop a business. You don't know how to develop a business. So the only thing you will do, you will listen. For the Bible says that uh, listen to everything, but take only what is good. And do what? Trash what is not. So he can tell you, you know what, in order to make your business successful, you need to uh, uh, fake everything and then lie to the people and so forth. You know, you know that's not what you're going to do. Are, are you feel what I'm saying? But if he tells you in order to make your business successful, you need to uh, uh, develop uh, this page or develop uh, this uh, uh, strategy that is uh, sound, you will assess it and then you will know, okay, this one, it is sound. It aligns with my vision being a child of God with a direction of righteousness and I will take it. But the person himself is not saved. The person himself can be an, a, an atheist. Are you feel what I'm saying? That's why when the Lord Jesus come, um, I say come, came, he did not come to stay only with the Pharisee. Because they were technically, quote-unquote, safe. Are you what I'm saying? They were the knowledgeable of the um, Talmud, of the uh, Mosaic law. But who did he give? Who did he get? Unlearned people who knew themselves, they were sinners. When he told to Peter, okay, throw your net on the side of the, of the uh, uh, um, boat, and then Peter did it, when Peter realized that, the, ah, something happened, what did he say? He screamed by saying, away from me, I'm a sinner. He, 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 like he could not believe that God would choose him. You see what I'm saying? But he did not come to choose the, the righteous. So he can work with an unrighteous person in order to develop in him the aspiration for his righteousness. Hallelujah. But, before they become sent, he needed to change them to have the mind of God. That's the difference. Before they be witness, he needed to train them to be disciples. He, he didn't he train them. That's why I said that when God gives something unto you, the vision is given unto you. You work with people of the same vision that God gives unto you and you remain in the path of righteousness. But then you can associate or you can bring or you can have some different people who are around that will help fulfill that vision. But they have nothing necessarily to do with God. However, when they see your wisdom, amen, when they see how you organize, when you see how you operate, that we have to be obligated to worship your God by saying, indeed, your Lord God, just like the Queen of Sheba did. And you will fulfill the word by let men see your good deeds so they may worship your Father who is in heaven. 
When the Lord Jesus says, don't let your left hand see what your right hand does, he did not say, never do it openly. No. What he was saying, never do it for the sake of being praised. Amen? Because he cannot say that and at the same time say, okay, let your deed be seen. How will your deed be seen if you hide it? You see what I'm saying? Do not do it for the sake of being praised. And you need to continually contrast that the purpose of why you're doing so is for the glory of God. For people to trust in God. If somebody calls me to say, oh, can I have this one? And I know I have it. I know I can do it. Before I say yes, I will tell to the person all the time. I will tell to the person, I am an answer to prayer. So that you can recognize that God has answered your prayer. Hallelujah. So that as I step in your life, you do not say, hey, that man of God. No, you can say, truly God has heard me. Because the reality is that you pray that the Lord will help you with this. And then I came with that this. So who is making the work? It's not me. It's God. You see what I'm saying? So the, the, your work is being seen of men. They can recognize what God does in your life. But you become an answer for the world. So that's what the word of God says. That, that the world is longing for the revelation of the sons of God. But because you are favored to prosper, God will cause men to bring unto your table, even in the unbelief, the gift that is needed for you to continue the kingdom. Shall we continue and end? So we are seeing first king. Read the next verse. Where were we? Where, where were we? So chapter 10. I don't know. Okay. First Kings. Verse 14. Okay. Chapter 14. Continue. 14. Now the weight of God that came to Solomon in one year was 600 threescore and six talents of gold. Mm -hmm. Beside that, he had of the merchant men and of the traffic mm -hmm. of the spice merchant and of all the kings of Arabia and of the governors of the country. Hallelujah. Amen. He was having stuff from the king of Arabia. Hallelujah. They have nothing to do with uh, the covenant of Israel. Amen. And by the way, Sheba was a western country in Arabia. Hallelujah. So the Arabs were the one in the life of Solomon doing something. Even to fulfill the promises of God, it was the Arabs who took Joseph to sell him out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, you know, you have to make the difference so that you are not uh, becoming over-righteous. You see what I'm saying? Where, because if, if you don't pay attention, what you will do is, well, um, you, 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 cannot, you cannot let in your decision-making process, process a son of perdition. Because your, your, your company, you cannot lead, is, I mean, you cannot accept a son of perdition to be in your decision-making process because your company will go outside of the vision of God. Your house, your life, we go outside. That's why the Bible says, be not be, do, do not be unequally yoked. Hallelujah. It's for the sake of directing properly the vision of God until you build it, you consecrate it, you assign it, and you prosper into it. But beside that, God does not have a problem to listen to what Jethro, the priest of Midian, says. Jethro was the priest of Midian. The father-in-law of Moses. When he come and he came, he spoke to Moses. He said, listen, what you're doing, I see God is with you. But the way you operate is not how it goes. But you see, Moses was the one hearing God. He was literally hearing God. 
So how is that that God who is able to speak to Moses as a man speak to a friend or to a man? Ah, quote unquote, God forgot to, to tell him this is how you got to do. <laughs> he didn't. But he's showing us that the, even to assign righteousness, God has utilized somebody who is a priest of idol. He was a priest of idol. But you don't go there if you are weak. <laughs> because before you realize, you will be a priest of idol too. <laughs> Even I was like, you got to be a Moses first. Amen? It's important. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I see the priest of idol. Yo, yo, I don't know. Yeah, let, let me finish over here first. <laughs> when I'm done, okay, I make commune with you but right now. It's over there. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you, you know that as God is maturing you, you know, sometimes I, re, I, I look at my life and I'm like, in a, in a time pass, Somebody will do something before you finish your talk. I already descended you. I cut you in, in two, in five. <laughs> but then I see how the Lord has brought me into the wisdom and the kingdom. I see some people do stupid stuff. Highly stupid stuff. And then yet I will have my countenance and then. And then sometimes I'm like, hmm. <laughs> let, 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 let me just forget to be Christian. Let me slap you. And then after, I, but no, we have to. Why? Because as the Lord is maturing you, he's also allowing you to enter into certain circles. But the Bible reminds us not to be deceived for wrong, hallelujah, wrong company. I come, what do you have to do? What do you have to say? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'll go and I'll do that. But you will not become my counselor. <laughs> Amen. I should give me counsel. I can take out of it. Wisdom will tell me, okay, this one is good. This one is bad. And then I do. But when I need counsel, I will not go to you. So I make a difference between those of the world and those of the Lord. Because you are called to favor to prosper. Give me that verse. Verse 16. Go ahead. And King Solomon made 200 targets of beaten gold. Mm -hmm. 600 shekels of gold went to one target. Mm -hmm. And he made 300 shields mm -hmm. of beaten gold. Mm -hmm. Three pounds of gold went to one shield. Mm -hmm. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory. Ivory. And overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round behind, and there were stays on either side on the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the stays, and twelve lions stood there on the one side and on the other upon the six steps. There was not, li there was not the like made in any kingdom. 21 and all king and all king solomon's drinking vessels were of gold <laughs> and all the vessels of the house of the forest of lebanon were of pure gold none were of silver it was nothing accounted of in the days of solomon for the king had a sea for for the king had at sea a navy of tarshish with the navy of hiram once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. I want you to remember verse 22, okay? Verse 22, remember that. Continue. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. King Solomon exceeded what? All, all the, the kings, kings of, of the, the earth. earth. Not of the Middle East. <laughs> Hallelujah. In riches and in wisdom. 
The problem with uh, the faith of God, the children of God, is that they want to have the Holy Ghost only. And this is how dangerous it is. As I said, they always complain, oh, look at this pastor. He bought an airplane. He should have given the money to the poor. Because they are poor. <laughs> because they're broke. Because you see, if that man did not give the money to the poor, what prevents you to give that money to the poor? You see what I'm saying? If that one does not do what you think is right, what do you do to do what you think is right? But you have to have in order to give. Hallelujah. But what you don't see is whether he gave or not. You don't see it. The only thing you see is the gold. Hallelujah. What you don't see is whether he gave or not. So the purpose of a child of God is not to be offended of how the other one prosper, but is to understand what is his own calling so he can prosper for the kingdom. That's what the Lord Jesus answered unto the thief. Who? Judah. I mean, Judas is carried out. He said, my Lord, come on. This lady, she's wasting the perfume. The expensive perfume. Yeah. She was a worshiper. And she did not come with a cheap perfume. Just as the people do today. I don't understand. How can he have a Rolls Royce? <laughs> he should sell this one gift to the poor. So he will be poor too. Is that mindset that is corrupted. And the Lord Jesus corrected it. He said instead of complaining that she's bringing unto me. And giving unto me the best perfume. What do you do yourself? He said, you Judah, you are with the poor. They're always there. You have the money, you, you manage the money. What do you do? You don't give to the poor. Rather, you're still out of the money. You see what I'm saying? So he will not want to let false pretense to prevent you to advance in the kingdom. No. It's false pretense. They have received 24 hours. We have received 24 hours. They prosper. We're behind. But we have to understand there is something wrong. Hallelujah. That's why I refuse no more to spend my time to say, ah, why this man of God, he bought a jet? Because he can. Because he's able. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why you buy that car? Because he's able. If all you can buy is a bicycle, praise the Lord. Amen. Remember, there is an eye that looks and that do does two things: jealousy or envy. And those envy transform into false religion. Oh no. So let's not that spirit. Say, say, Lord, I'm not partaker of that spirit. I can be used. That's why I can be used to give to the poor. So increase me. Let's continue to finish this one. Verse 24. Verse uh, 24. Mm -hmm. And all the, all, all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Now and you will notice that all the earth did not sought God. Amen? They sought what Solomon was to say. Even though they did not know it was from God, 
but they sought it because it was different. Hallelujah. So you do not necessarily need to be, um, um, I don't know, an anointed, like you, you go to people and then you say, oh, me, I am anointed of God. And thinking, you think because you say you are anointed of God, then they will give you just bye-bye. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But by what they see, remember, they do not walk by faith. They walk by sight. So make your deed evident. With the mindset that you are glorifying your father and honoring your king. So they can do that in turn. Remember that. Don't mistake it. Am I clear? Give me that last verse. Verse 25. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments, and armor, and spices, horses, and mules, you read year by year. Hallelujah, we stop here. In verse 22, give me verse 22. In verse 22, the king did what? He had a sea, at sea, a navy of Tashish with the navy of Iram that was bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, peacocks, once every Three years. So in another word, this company was having an increase once every three years. But because of favor to prosper. Amen? Verse 25. Because of favor to prosper, the world brought him present vessel of silvers, vessel of gold, garments, armor, spices, horses, mules, Every year. Hallelujah. Uh, do, do you get it? Favor to prosper is different. As a prosper man, he can only increase every three years. But because of the favor, the unbeliever was bringing the rate every year. So what it means, God gives you the vision. And every three years, he redirect the vision for another increase. But every year, the unbeliever come to you and you increase. Are you following? Favor to prosper. Hmm. I am favored to prosper. Every year, year by year, there was a rate. God said, he's going to assign to you a yearly rate that will not dry out. Because he's causing you to have favor to prosper. A yearly rate. A yearly rate of increase. And every three years, you will revisit your strategy for the vision of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I see a lot of uh, blessing collectors over here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, I am a blessing collector. <laughs> I am a blessing collector. Hallelujah. I am a blessing collector. Hallelujah. <laughs> Favor to prosper. And the last one, which is what you know. God calls you to become a blessing collector by assigning to you a yearly rate.
favor to prosper. God has assigned to you a yearly rate. So all the earth we must, shall must, must do. Hmm. That revelation. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's recap and we close. First is what? Be organized. Second is spice up prayer life. Amen. You got to spice it up. You got to put a lot of incense and perfume inside. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. She is doing the, the, the spiritual perfume. <laughs> <laughs> so, what one is be organized. Two is spice up your prayer life. Three is what? Build an altar of worship. Develop worship. Four is what? Give. If you don't give, it's not because you're not organized. It's because you have not developed an altar of worship and do not spice up your prayer life. It only comes after you have done those two. Hallelujah. Give. The fourth is what? No, no. The fourth is give. The fifth is what? God calls you to have idea to manufacture wealth. Hallelujah. The sixth is what? Eh? He will oblige the world to send your rate here by here. This is what it means. It does not mean you will have the rate every year. It means you have the rate for the year to come. Do, do, do you get it? You will not wait until the year to have the rate of the past year. No, you will have the rate so you can be sustained for the year to come. I even away. So year by year, you will have a rate. Now we pray. Father, bless your name. For today you have spoken of your latter rain. You have demonstrated, Lord God, that indeed you have assigned it for this very hour. So we are acknowledging it. We are receiving it. We agree with the word. We believe the report of the Lord. And as we believe the report of the Lord, it is done unto us, so says your word. I thank you, Lord God, that you are doing it now, that you are causing it now, and is bringing up even now. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your promises you have spoken, I have now taken the flight to see us grow, to see us advance, to see us go beyond the limitations, to break the barriers, and to prosper even because you have caused favor to prosper. Have your way. Do your work. Let it be wonderful among us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.